Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to do a, basically create a, a predictive model in AppSheet. So this is one of those things that sounds complicated, but AppSheet makes it super easy to do. And this is handy, you know, for um, users or app developers who basically want to utilize their data that they've captured in their app and basically help their app be more intelligent and you know, having predictions, you know, a classic example of a predict, predictive model would be detecting credit card fraud or something like that. And, you know, basically looking at a variety of input factors and then predicting whether it would be su suspected fraud or not. And you can build these apps to, you know, leverage that predictive model to proactively flag specific records. So you just want to make sure in general that your predictive models are based on numbers, yes, no values, and, and enum values, right? And um, uh, that kind of represents a good data set to start with. So in, in AppSheet itself, I've added this data set to my application, and I'm going to go to Intelligence. I'll make that emulator smaller. And I'm going to go ahead to uh, Predictive Models here and create a new predictive model. So I'm going to call this model predict price. Probably make sure I'm sharing my tab here. So yeah, so intelligence and uh, predictive models. And um, under training table, we're going to select the table that we want to use as the predictive model. And for column to predict, we're going to choose the column that we want to try and predict. I'm going to choose price in this case. And then for inputs, I'm going to make sure I only have the columns here that I want to be considered in the input price. So we can remove things like ID. We definitely don't have, you know, want the output to be, you know, to have an input as well. So we'll make sure we remove that information and even potentially add um, other uh, columns as well that we want to consider. So just take a quick look at that. Make sure you only have the inputs you want to consider. Or the model and that's all you have to do and then hit save so once it's saved you'll see that there's a training status being shown for this table and this this could take a couple minutes right so this is um this is a one-time deal to let your model get trained in the meantime while it's training your data you can um, also automatically create references um, to this model in your app, right? So you can create a prediction column, which is simply a virtual column that has this app sheet formula in um, as the formula itself. So that's all that's doing, right? This is how you reference that predictive model. You can reference that in um, any of your um, formulas or, you know, initial values or um, suggestions as needed. And you could also do this for the price column because the price column is the output in this case. We can turn this on and it's automatically going to add that as an initial value to my app. So if I go ahead and hit save and go to my um, go to my uh, housing data here and scroll down to, or, or scroll up here and, and click on my column attributes, you'll notice that AppSheet added this formula here that I was showing you before, you know, the predict price formula. All right, now that it's done, and so it took four minutes to train, um, but you basically get an output here too of your model performance, right? So, um, you know, you wanna use this to gauge the effectiveness of your model, um, this information you help. But, with this model trained now, what I can do in my app now is can actually leverage this model. So here's here's a list of all my inputs for the housing, right? I could just select those different inputs. And then what AppSheet's doing in the background is dynamically updating that model for that record at any given time. So you can see here as I change values, my price is changing based off the the model itself. So I could have this in the background or I could, you know, use this as recommended price, for example, 
um, there's a lot of stuff you can do, you know, to basically then trigger automations, right? Based off of a prediction and do what you want with it. So hopefully that helps, um, you know, reach out to me if there's any more questions about this, but actually does make this super easy to do and um, have fun.